Uh, right. Okay. In this post, I'm going to be talking about kind of something that isn't really um, my area of expertise, but I'll give it a go anyway. We're talking about how kind of more the, the practical side of how this is going to be filmed. So um, something more that uh, I'm sure you'll be able to see more of in uh, Declan's blog and stuff like that as he's uh, taking the role of main cameraman and um, is our kind of the, the group's resident DSLR wizard, basically. But um, yeah, as mentioned before, we're going to be shooting it on um, a, uh, I do believe it's the Canon 550D we're going to be shooting on, because um, we don't for the uh, uh, Canon, how oh, was it? 5D Mark II, that's the one. We'll be filming it on that, but the, um, the one that's in the stores has been broken. So um, basically we're going to be shooting on the 550, which um, isn't necessarily a massive problem. It's going to be um, still footage is going to have that nice DSLR look and stuff like that. It's going to be, um, yeah, for every fight that it's going to be nice. We're, um, if I can paraphrase stuff that Dex kind of said, is um, we're going to be aiming to shoot it quite flat with a lot of... Um, sort of a lot of colour information and stuff like that which is going to allow us to um, kind of on the um, when it comes to colour correction in the final edit, edit really um, sort of crush the blacks in the piece and then really make the um, make things quite I don't know if I, vibrant's the wrong word but it's going to be very kind of it's going to be very drab colours but it's still going to have a lot of depth to it so where you're going to have nice very deep colours and very light so it's going to be quite high contrast but low colour I guess would be the best way to say it. Low saturation. Um, but yeah, how this sort of probably something that I can talk slightly better about because it's going to pertain to me slightly more with co-directing with um, Alex. Basically, the um, plan for the shoot. We're going to be um, basically in terms of roles and stuff like that. The way it's going to go is um, Declan's handling camera stuff. Um, Alex is going to be, Alex and I are essentially co-directing and producing the piece. Alex is going to be handling more sort of shots, shot based things, like kind of how how, how to plan out shots and stuff like that and where they're going to go and um, I guess sort of partial DOP I guess and um, while I'll on the other hand be sort of more rolling as kind of a, um, we're going to be working with the actors a lot more and stuff like that and trying to nail down the scenes in terms of their delivery and things like that while at the same time um, doing a fair bit of script supervision supervision and things, so we've got an extra set of eyes essentially making sure it's all all alright. Um, the two of us as well, Alex and I, we're going to be swapping between as the days are going by and as things are kind of depending on our respective workloads for a specific shot, like say if it's fairly static camera angles or something Alex has got less to do or the actors are feeling very comfortable with the shot or it isn't much dialogue that they're for, that, so they're, I don't need to do much with them. We're going to take it in turns to uh, hold the boom mic. So, because um, obviously there's only three of us, so what we're going to be doing is, yeah, splitting the difference between the job. And it's um, not something I've ever done before. And I must admit, I've never really had much in the way of interest with uh, sound before. But um, I've been assured it's not it's not incredibly difficult to do. It, like the basics of it, I'm sure there's a lot. It's a much much more of an art than I give it credit for. But um, in terms of what we need from it, Alex and I are going to be more than, hopefully more than alright, being able to do um, hold the boom. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be recording, uh, audio is going to be recorded back into the camera from the boom mic, they're all going to be plugged in together. And um, yeah, so um, we've kind of put together a shot plan for how we're, uh, how we're working together the days. We're starting... Um, Starting with two of the more dialogue-heavy scenes, the ones that um, are going to be more difficult to nail down in terms of delivery and stuff like that. So, the our thought process with it is is that we're going to be um, we'll do those get those scenes out of the way early, so that when we're reviewing the footage and stuff, if things aren't if they don't quite come across right, then um, we'll hopefully fingers crossed have uh, time to redo them and stuff like that. And then as the days go through. Um, doing the big choreographed final battle um, we're doing on the last day because um, cause we've got two extra um, actors coming down for that and um, don't want to spoil too much there but um, yeah we've got that and um, 
in sort of the middle day it's a lot more of kind of the walking scenes and stuff like that things that mean we're going to be keeping quite active and mobile in the whole piece and um the more kind, of, more kind of the fun stuff, the more back and forth and things, basically. Because on the first day, with the more difficult scenes, they're more, they're more, like, they they come across more like monologues, basically. So there's going to be more sort of, I said this and then all that, just mumbling or chatting away. Uh, well, sorry, not chatting, monologues. So one person just delivering lines at the other, and um, then kind of on the Wednesday, it's more sort of the interesting stuff for the actors. So they're not going to be. Um, either sitting there being spoken to or um, or just being asked to walk or look frightened and things. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for the shoot. This is going to be, it's going to be going over a couple of couple of days towards like between three days and a week, I think, basically, is the time we've sort of set out for it. All things going well, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, it's um, going to be my first real chance to kind of work on directing something that has a, I guess a more conventional narrative, I suppose you could say, and um, especially with the script that I've I've written, I've sort of I've written, um, it's really nice. I'm a little bit, a little bit concerned about the thing that is because you really have to stand by your script when you're writing. When you say when you're writing an essay or something like that, you can very much once it's done, you can kind of explain it away or something, or be just kind of it's it's much easier with an essay or something that you can kind of you can. Uh, sort of put it down essentially but with um, with the script you have to be so I, I feel like I'm going to have to be a lot more um, we'll sit I'm going to have a lot I'm going to have to have a lot more conviction when it comes to this and um, I'm going to have to stand by my decisions and what I've written and stuff like that and how I feel it's going to have to look so um, yeah really looking forward to it it's something I always always feel like I thrive on is um, yeah that kind of thing so um yeah, in the next post, I'll sort of be uh, talking about the location scout. We've been to the, um, we've already been to the location, which is up in the New Forest, and um, looks great. But um, yeah, as I said, I'll discuss it properly in, the next, in another post. But um, yep, okay. <laughs>